All right, welcome back again. Uh, so the topic we're going to talk about today is routing uh, with Angular. So routing is uh, having different pages. So here I've got the, uh, the example we're going to go to. Uh, I suppose with routing, I should show you my URL. Uh, and so you can see that as I go to slash home uh, and as I go to slash sign in, uh, you can see that the URL changes. Uh, and then of course with Angular, uh, there's no full page reloads, right? So I've got a bunch of different tabs up here, but the spinner is never going here. Uh, so the thing about routing is that it's a really important topic in Angular because you have to have separate pages to make real apps. Uh, but the problem with it is, is in order to actually have an app complex enough to truly need routes, um, you have to kind of like have a lot going on. So we're going to make a contrived example here. Uh, so this contrived example uh, has just a welcome to the home screen of this app. And then I click sign in and it says most apps have a sign in page. This is a placeholder. Um, and then it's also got um, this drop down list here. So we're going to play with Angular material and drop downs. Um, so here it's going to show, you know, here's the second floor of Munch. Uh, here's the first floor of Munch. Uh, this is where my office is at, by the way. I'm the um, uh, E101. I'm basically sitting on the letter E right now. Um, and so you can see that we're going to learn some new things about Angular material. Uh, so that's kind of the style of this app that we've got going on. Uh, we're also going to learn about flex layout. Um, and we're going to be learning about routing is the main thing. The other thing I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to kind of introduce you to the lab. The way the lab works is it's an ongoing lab. Um, and so this is a lab that's going to be the lab for the next four units. Um, and so each unit you're going to introduce different things to it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk about it briefly because obviously we don't have all the skills to do these things. So uh, the lab is going to use sign in. Uh, so like the skills you have now is you'll be able to make a sign in page, but you won't be able to actually do real sign in. Uh, and you can sign in with Google uh, or you can sign in with Rosefire and we'll teach you how to do those steps. Once you're signed in, um, you'll have everybody's photos uh, and then you'll also have your own individual photos that you've added. Uh, you'll have the ability to add photos. You'll be able to add them with existing URLs, kind of like you've done in the uh, previous photo bucket lab. Uh, you'll also be able to upload photos. I'll just kind of upload a random image here. I don't really even know what this is of. I uh, might regret it. Um, and then you can give it a caption. So this is, uh, I'll just say some photo because I don't even know what it is. Uh, I'll hit save. Uh, and you can see that it's loading up some photo. It looks like it was a, a happy birthday photo. Uh, once you've loaded up a photo, you can click on it uh, and it'll show full screen. Uh, you can click on back. Uh, you can click on just see my photos, uh, and you can edit and you can delete things. So we'll talk more about that lab as we go, uh, but I just thought I'd give you a heads up that we're going to have you building this lab up in small pieces uh, as you learn about these things. All right, so let's go ahead and do just the project setup, and then we'll cut this video off. Uh, so the project setup is that you need a place for this app, uh, so you can do it uh, via Ada or whatever else you'd like. Uh, GitHub or Ada are kind of your two options. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new project over here, uh, and I'm going to call it uh, Rose Routing. And then if you want, you can give it a, a description. So this is learning about uh, routing with Angular, uh, and then I'll, I'll put on an also uh, introduce Angular Material to and Angular Flex Layout. Uh, so in this class we're going to be using three tools quite a bit and that's um, angular fire 2 uh, for all of our database needs angular material 2 for all of our ui things and then angular flex layout which is a helper for angular material 2. interestingly in this app we are not going to use firebase really at all <laughs> um, and that's just to keep uh, to keep things simple uh, so there's really no firebase in this app uh, so i'm going to go ahead and create my project here uh, and then I'm going to find a spot in Terminal uh, where I want this guy to be. So I'm going to go to where I want it to be. Uh, and then I'm going to do a git clone of it. Uh, so git clone. Uh, it says I've copied an empty repository. Uh, that is an accurate statement. Uh, once I have it cloned, uh, I go into that git folder that I've just cloned. Um, and I do an ng new. And this is going to be a little bit different. Rose routing 
hyphen hyphen routing. And so this is the command that I'm going to run. Uh, just to mention it, before this video started, I also did one other thing that you might want to consider doing. Uh, so I'm going to hold off on clicking that button for one second. Um, I um, went over and I updated my Angular CLI. Um, so hopefully you've got a link for uh, the Angular CLI update. Uh, but this is just something that you need to do every so often. So I ran the commands uh, npm uninstall uh, at Angular CLI, cache clean, and npm install Angular CLI latest. So I ran those three commands, um, and that way you're making sure that you're using the latest uh, of the Angular CLI. And if you've got the latest Angular CLI, when you do an ng new, you'll make sure you're using the latest versions of Angular as well. So I ran those things just before I started those, this film, uh, and I'm going to hit enter here, uh, and it's going to start making this directory. Normally during this time, uh, I would also go over to the Firebase console, um, and I would start um, making a new project for this thing to go into. I'm going to cheat this time. And since this project is so simple, I'm actually just going to reuse my default path. Um, and so if you were to go to fisherds uh, hyphen default, um, you know, it would show like your install test, but we're going to take over that route uh, with this with this new app. And that's just because it's just so simple. We just we don't want to burn another project ID. Um, you only get 10 and then you have to request more. Requesting more is easy, but eh, we'll just save you one. All right, it looks like it's finished. So now I'm going to CD into the Rose routing folder. And I'm going to do an ng serve over here. I'm also going to go into um, Visual Code Studio uh, and I'm going to open up this project. And there's mine right there. So Rose routing. So I use the spinal case for the Git folder and then like the class case for the project. And I, I just do that just so that I can keep things organized. Uh, once we've got things open up over here, we can see that there's 30 messages. We can do an ng new uh, rows routing uh, hyphen hyphen routing. Um, and so I just like to put that in as the commit message uh, whenever I'm <clears throat> doing things. That way I can just remember the command I ran. Uh, once you've got that, you can go into your bookmark. So I'll go ahead and open up my localhost 4200 bookmark. Um, and interestingly enough for me, um, I can see that they've changed the startup page with the Angular CLI. Um, and so you've probably been seeing this all along, but it's the first time for me. Um, and instead of just saying app works, it, um, it says more stuff. Uh, you can click on these links, but none of them are really that exciting. The other thing I'm going to do is just because I like to do it as I get going is bring up my uh, Chrome Dev Tools uh, and just have those up. Um, and it looks like I, I did what I wanted to do. So I created the new project. I checked it in with Visual Code Studio. Uh, I have to publish it to the origin branch, which is how I have to do things with Ada. Uh, and then next time, we'll go ahead and get started with this guy. All right, so we will see you next time where we start really building things. See you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.